We begin this evening with a public safety alert in Roswell tonight after a father was found beaten after walking on a trail in a popular park. Police are interviewing witnesses as they wait for the victim to wake up and tell them what happened. Tonight, police are still searching for whoever did this. Let's get straight to Hope Fort. She joins us live right now with the very latest. Hope. Well, the victim's dad, he updated me about an hour ago saying that his son is still on a ventilator to help with his breathing. Now, this attack did not happen in a secluded area. Roswell Area Park is a well-known park, and what's baffling the family is this doesn't appear to be a robbery. An early evening walk turned into a desperate quest for answers for Dean Donald. My son is an avid walker. He lives not too far from here. His son, Matt, walks every morning and every evening. He walks... 20,000 plus steps a day. A way to get exercise in as he's a new father to a seven month old. But on Tuesday around 830, this walk turned into anything but ordinary. Around the time Matt sent one final text to his dad. He had responded to my text and we were, I love you and I love you back. And, and, and we're both at Braves fans and I texted him a little bit later and there was nothing. I'm on one with the location of your emergency. Roswell Area Park. There's a bloody man on the trail. That's all I can say is that he's moving. Something caught my eye out of the corner of my eye, some movement, and it, it appeared to be a person laying on the ground. This is the area that um, he was found, and you can still see where the spot is, where uh, the blood was. What's particularly scary to Dean is why this happened. He had just got some brand new red tennis shoes, and uh, we thought maybe that was it, that he got jacked for the shoes or something. but. Uh, that wasn't it because when they found him laying here unconscious, he was all beat up and the shoes were laying neatly next to him. The attackers didn't take his ID or phone. Nothing was taken. He was just beat. Matt, now heavily sedated with severe lacerations, bruising on his neck. His eyes were both severely bruised and swollen shut. And Roswell police trying to piece together how a walk in the park ended with a man in the hospital. We're just baffled by the whole thing. He's been doing this a long, long time and he's very friendly and outgoing and one of the friendliest, nicest people I've ever met. Now, there were some witnesses who said they saw three cars speeding away. One of them included a taxi. So now police and Matt's dad are just waiting for him to be able to talk so he can share the details of what happened to him.